Hey. G'day Flame, how's it going mate? Alright, without further ado, we are back and this is going to be the second stream for Yokai Watch 2 Honke. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be episode 5. Let's get into it. We finished up all of those tasks yesterday and we were just about to return home to um, further the story, so let's do so. I'm back. Ah, we we played a lot today. And I'm also I'm also exhausted from walking. <laughs> Don't know how that works. <laughs> but you're floating. <laughs> I forget what he does, that yokai. Hi bananas. And wonder bread, welcome, welcome. Oh gravy, welcome home. Ah, oh, welcome home dad. You're already back from work. Um, he says, gravy. Let's eat the manju together. And we have both types of manju. The manju from the Skull Shop Honke and the Skull Shop Gunso. Okay, so that other yokai has um, totally made them make up and be friendly again. Huh? But before they were arguing about the manju. <laughs> and for those that didn't see the earlier episodes, manju is like a steamed bun. It's delicious. Sorry about all that hubbub before, um, wife. Today, let's, um, in order to make it up, in order to make up with you, Let's go and buy some of the manju from the Honke shop. Okay, so I don't think they have th have them. They're going to get some. I thought they had boxes of manju on the table there because they came in packs of... Oh no, they came in packs of nine, didn't they? Anyway. Oh, I'm so happy and excited. But... It seems as though we think along the same lines because we're husband and wife. I also want to treat us to the gunsword type for you. Um, so... Oh, I think she's already gone ahead and purchased them already, the gunsword type. Oh, they're all lovey-doveys, and I think it might be a bit too much love. <laughs> Thanks to the inspiration, or inspirited effect of whatever yokai that was. I'm pretty sure it's a Poka Poka type and it does healing. I forget what it's called. Uh, it's so great that I married you. I am so happy. I'm so happy that I met you. So it's all really fluffy. <laughs> No, it's me that should be the most happy. I'm the happiest. No, I am the happiest. Yeah. Well, well, um, seems as though they've been able to kiss and make up. Um, I guess that's a good thing, yeah? Alright, and that's the end of the day. I wonder what repercussions there'll be from all this disgusting love. Hello, Himero. Ah, oh, I'm so hungry, says the company employee. And it's finally lunchtime.
Something about today's kara karage, the fried chicken, is good, or something. Oh, the crows are all clued in. Oh, she has the karage there. <laughs> Rip. Ah, that crow took my karage. So lately around the town of Sakura Newtown, there has been lots of cases of um, reports from crows doing bad things to people. <laughs> and one of the most common things that they've been doing is taking people's food and flying away from them. Seeing as they are attracted to shiny things, like collecting shiny things, They are also, um, they're also attracted to things like shining accessories, jewelry. So, everyone in the neighborhood, please be careful. Ah, crows, they're scary. Hmm, aren't they? Well, I'm just about to go out and play now. I'm going to go to the um the park with the lake in it i think it's is it called hyotan something like that and he's promised to play with kanji today all right well have a good day um please be careful of cars and also crews okay Thanks to our handy dandy map marker, we know exactly where to go. And it should be safe to cross the road, yep. So this is the rich district, the Soyo something wind hills, windy hills. I don't know what Soyo means exactly. But Kanchi should be living to the north of this area, but we're going to be finding him in this park. Oh, there's a yokai about. Where was it? Here. Where's my stylus? There it is. Hello, Kusa Migeru. Welcome to you. Oh, this isn't the yokai place. Alright, I'll quickly catch whatever bug this is. I've got to look up the translation for this one. Oh, that'll be right. And scares away the other one. Fantastic, I love it. So obviously the needle wasn't down far enough. Oh, it's in here. I forget that they can appear on the ground as well. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be... Oh! I forget what her name is. That'll remind me to open up the wiki whilst I'm here as well so that I can um, check out all these guys likes and dislikes and stuff like that. Not that I'll really have anything to to give it unless it likes onigiri. It's the Share Kohujin. I think that's like fashionable skeleton wife thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, let's um quickly have a look at what type of food it likes. It likes sweets. I have I have chocolate bars.
how easy are they to sway? Let's have a look. Quite easy. All right, it's definitely worth a try. Don't think I've um, seen this guy's Sultimate yet. And I remember getting a medium experience sphere thing as well that I haven't used, so I'll have to use that. It's a buddy. Now, if I pin. Pin the inspirited one. Ah, cool. That's awesome. I don't think it was in the other game, but if you pin possessed or inspirited enemies, you can you can upon hitting them get a lot of your yokai gauge filled. You saw that blue orb come towards us there. Oh, good. I got an iron idol. Can sell that for money. Damn, she didn't uh, join us. That reminds me really quickly. If I zoom out on this map, I wonder if I've got access to the hills. I'm going to do this really quickly. You know how I was talking about, for those that joined me last time, I have this timed thing that I'd like to check out. I can get a special yokai. If I go to, I think it's to the right of the shrine. Having taken a yokai photograph thing in the previous game, I'll get this special coin and I'll be able to choose from three yokai. And there's a yokai that I really want. It's a it's an amalgamation. It's a fusion yokai of Whisper and Jibanyan together. <laughs> a mysterious chap that no one knows how fused together. <laughs> it's definitely worth a look. Ah, looks like there is someone to the right of the map where he should be. Strange old man. Apparently he farts a lot for some reason. Here he is. He's called the Mystery Grandad. Huh? Um, have you taken notice of the Gusha machine next to the um, sacred tree in the back of this forest? Uh, yeah, what? What about it? Um, that Gusha, using a special coin, you'll be able to um, turn it and something will come out, something great. Hmm, he's sniffing. Oh, I can smell it. My something. The smell of my something. <laughs> Hang on, what's this mean? A fart? Wind? Sniff, sniff. That smell. It's the smell of my fart. No, it's not. It's the, it's the Yorkai mystery lens photo, isn't it? Um, and it's not a smell coming from the Gunsaw version of Yorkai Watch 2 or the Honke version. Ah, it's that, um, it's that famous production, Yorkai Watch 1. I can smell a photograph that has been taken using the mystery, mysterious lens in that game. So, you guy, do you actually hold a photo using your co watcher's mystery lens? Yes. Really? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, this is it. It's definitely a photo from that game. He proceeded to fart. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I got too excited. <laughs> I think that means excited. Let's have a look. Yeah, he did. He got too aroused. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so maybe I should go ahead and give you this splendid item as a reward. Um, it's a good thing that you went ahead and tried to use the mystery lens. Uh, thank you? Yes, it's the Super Eraberu coin. Yes! Alright, here we go, rare yokai time. Man, that guy. And will some here I can use that red gut gusher coin I got the other day as well. I forget how many times I can do this per day, probably three times or something. And I've got the choice whether to use the coins and I can use play coins as well and I've got 300. So I might as well use those if I can. Alright first let's get the red coin out of the way. This should get us... If it's going to get us a yokai, it's going to be the tough type one, the fighting one. If it doesn't, just randomly give us some other item. Oh! Oh hell yeah! So from within, we got the Zanbara Tor, Zanbara Sword. Cool, dude. Let's see if I can work out what the pun is there. Zanbara. Zanbara. Is it short for Zanbara? Let's have a look. That's what I like about this game. I learn a lot of Japanese. Beheading. Zan can mean beheading, decapitation. I don't know if that's what they're going for. Butter can mean rose or stomach if it's attached to the end of a word, I guess. Is it just... Yeah, I don't know, dudes. In any case... Zanbara. Okay, so you have brought that. Th I can feel that thing that you've brought here with you. No worries, I will come with you. Oh, is he referring to the Yoko watch or something? Zanbara to. Oh, he didn't have like a extra line after it, so not all Yorkai speak their name and then something afterwards. Okay. Would you like to give him a nickname? Um, I wonder. What could I do? It looks like he's got some drool coming out of his mouth, actually. Might have something to do with his personality that is a little bit drowsy, tired, or something. Oh, well, nothing, nothing comes to mind. Oops. I'm pretty sure you couldn't change their names after this step in your Kai Watch 1. I'll have to check it out and see if I can. Because you always come up with good names after the fact, don't you? Okay, we've got its Yokai medal, that's awesome. Let's check him out. I'll just double check that I... Alright, cool. I've got two of the same type. So I'm going to line them up. So they get that little link there for extra power. Um... Okay, and we'll stick with that.
Let's read all about him. Whoops. Okay, so <laughs> seeing as it's a pain in the butt to get your hair cut, he's left his to um, to grow right out. And using his overgrown sword blade hair, he cuts his enemies. <laughs> Alright, so his attack is... Body of Blades. So enemies that attack him will be wounded through striking him because of his blades. That's cool. His normal attack is 18 times 2. That's kind of good. He's got an elemental Yokai attack, which is worth 20 points with Wind Element. Oh wow, he's. Sultimate is 20 attack power times 7 hits. That's decent. And his inspirited attack makes them lazy and so their attack power goes down. Alright. How did that compare to, say, Jibanyan? Yeah, he's better than Jibunyan, but what's his base stats like compared to Jibunyan? No, oh, he's only level 1, mind you. Yeah, he's a pretty worthy addition. Definitely. Alright, whilst we're looking at stats and all that sort of good stuff. I don't think I've given any of these guys a accessory yet, have I? My memory's not good enough. Yeah, no one's got an accessory. Here, um, okay. He's a C ranker as well. I think that's the best rank I've achieved. Oh yeah, this one puts his elemental attack down, but it puts his speed right up. Yep, sounds good. What's his... What's his personality like right now? Okay, so he's short-tempered. I believe that's what we want because he'll be more likely to just do the physical attacks, which is probably what we're after here. Tanky. And it's easy for his power and HP to go up. Excellent. Don't have to do much work for you. <laughs> we still haven't used the awesome coin yet. Yeah, the one that's going to be taking place in America is, yeah, as Banana said, the third one. Here we go. Alright, I get to choose from Komasan, who I used quite extensively in the last game. Tsuchinoko, which I believe is the the juvenile version of that other guy we saw at the start of this day, or when we returned home. All of them have this little yellow assignment up the top of their information there that says rare. Okay, this is the one that I want. Puchinyan. He's a fusion of Whisper and Jibanyan. <laughs> and the reason that they've put these two guys here as well, you might think, hey, they're everyday kind of not so special ones. The special thing about these is that they're wearing an accessory. So this guy doesn't usually come with that purse, I don't think. And this guy definitely doesn't come with a necktie, so... <laughs> And I'm not sure if Puchinyan is only gotten through these means or not. Or if it's wearing something new as well. But here we go. And Hit's base skill is critical. Oh, if it receives a critical attack. 
it will increase its defense. His basic attack looks to be exactly the same as Jibanyan's. Oh, his elemental attack is way is really good. 50 for electric. His ultimate looks to be more powerful than Jibanyan's as well. It's a different version of... Or is it? I'm not 100% sure. And his in spirit attack is... He attack what? Oh! He makes the enemies attack their own, I guess. So, confusion, I guess. But a more directed one. Excellent. What? It's empty. <laughs> What? Was there really supposed to be a yokai in here? I don't suspect Wisp what Whisper to have said to be f to be wrong. Ah, 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 no, no, no. Look more carefully at the capsule. Nya 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 <gasps> Oh my god Is this how you make the Puccinia? <laughs> I am Puccinia nya Huh? Have you mixed together? Have you fused together? Okay, we've got him. Would you like to give him a nickname? I'll just um romanize it. Butchinyan. Oh, I can't fit it. So we've got his information now. And that's where he appears. And he has his coin has a yellow bar um um what do you call it? Outside to it because it's a rare one. Cow bunny. <laughs> Okay, so nice to meet you. Let's take care of each other. Let's help each other out. <laughs> oh, I wonder what happened. I was thinking about it and all of a sudden we were sucked into something and it was surprising it surprised me ah but didn't you guys become buchinyan ah if you call upon buchinyan using the buchinyan metal we will be fused together ah uh, ah uh. interesting Bananyan. <laughs> I want to try that out now. If I've got... If I've got Jibanyan... Oh, i got to link these guys together as well. Yeah, if I use him in battle, does that mean Jibanyan goes away?
interesting. Oh yeah, and I said I was gonna quickly use some play coins. I should get one more use today. Probably a crappy item. Support life. Alright. Uh, that's good. That makes them Kenshin Teki. What's that one do? Okay, so they... They really like to do inspirited um, moves to their allies with that personality. So good to use for the yokai that obviously have the the buffing abilities. Okay, let's go back to the hills. Now that we've accomplished our time sensitive little quest to get our Buchinyan. I also really want to check out the um, the post office or the bank, whatever it is, where you can scan the QR codes because I've got one. Oh, I've got a fight up here, I can do it. Okay, let's try using Jibanyan. I mean Buchinyan. What is it? Is that the Baka? Yeah, Baka Zukin. Yes! I like Baka Zukin. Actually, he's like a very bottom tier monster, but I love Wasorembo and I love Baka Zukin because they're funny. Baka Zukin, what do you like to eat? To those wondering, Bakadzukin, if he attaches himself to your head with his mouth, he makes you become a baka. He likes... He likes cheap sweets. The cheaper the better. Well, this doesn't seem to be a cheap one, but we'll see. I don't think you really cared for it. And we can fight together, alright. So I can use both both the nyans together. Awesome. So much cat action. Yeah, I don't think you particularly enjoyed that sweet. We have to get that little sticky pink one. Or the really cheap gum. That was a waste of a, an item. Oh well. You gotta learn somehow. How far am I away from... That's the thing about this game, just get sidetracked so much. And I love it. <laughs> I would really love to scan my... Z medal that I got with the physical copy of the game. That's why I paid the big bucks. Gotta get the brand new copy for the Z medal. I'm a sucker. And you know what? I don't have any idea what I'll get for it. We'll probably get some tutorials here as well. Yeah, that was the choco ball. That's the um, the name of that chocolate bar. Konnichiwa. Oh, they still haven't. They're still not open for those services yet. All right. I was afraid that might be the case. Mm, while I remember, let's use this experience ball that we got before. 
500. Woohoo. Um, big decision. 500. Well, I got really lucky at the end of one of those quests and this is what it gave me. Let's give it to Buccino. <gasps> Straight to level friggin' seven. Yeah, I must have had like super good luck to get that. It's clever that the quest marker changed from the northeast connecting road to the to just the east one because I was closer to it. It's a uh, dynamic map. What the hell is this? Nothing. Just a decoration on the road. Oh, it says start and goal. So no doubt we'll have some race mission sometime in the game. There's a second Yorkai watch, yep. Right, Kanchi, how's it going? Hey South Texas. Hey cooking cooking cookies for your mum. Ah, good stuff. Has everyone called their mother or visited their mother? It's Mother's Day. I know I did. I know I have. The third one coming out in a few days. Yeah, mid-July. Couple of months, yeah. Ah, oh, you're late. You're two minutes and 32 seconds late. Sorry, sorry. Um, I didn't realize you'd be so um, specific with the time. Because I've got this now. I <laughs> mean, two watches? Come on. You've got two mega watches? Why? Why? Um, my dad's associate makes the mega watches at his company, and I got it from him. And on top of that, I got a very rare one because it's a limited edition new color. <laughs> it's shining. <laughs> yeah, good to see you again, Blue Pikachu. Welcome to the stream. Um, wow. And it's really shiny, isn't it? That is the Megawatch's GPS function. And this is, I guess, the the proof that it's always um, working like it indicates that it's working through shining so the signal from this mega watch will send out an electrical wave signal it'll go around all of the earth it'll bounce around the earth into the satellite And then it'll tell you the location of where the person wearing it is. <gasps> wow. And seeing as I went to all the trouble. How about we... Seeing as there's two of us, why don't we use the watches for some high-tech hide-and-seek. Oh, that sounds very interesting. Okay, so it's decided. Here, try it on. <laughs> ah, the Mega Watch. Ah, the crow. The crow has taken it away. Edgy <laughs> Banya. Quickly, we have to catch that crow and, and get it to return my megawatch. 
But what should we do? Where do you think he has gone? We have no idea. Haha, but the GPS signal. Using my mega watch here, we should be able to track down the location of that um, thief crow. Oh yeah, of course. Can't you? You're so smart. I under I know where it is. Right now, he's in the northwest part of this hills district here. And that's where he's moving at the moment. So quickly, let's go and get it. Yes. Excellent. Did anyone predict that that was going to happen? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a little Shiba Inu. It's got the blood of a world champion. He's come from good stock. He sits and shakes hands, apparently. I think that's what that said. Reading that really fast. I still haven't gotten a shiny. Still haven't gotten a shiny, damn it. Give me back my mega watch. Ah, the mega watch is in the river. Oh no, it's it's getting it's flowing down the river. Hey, that's no worries. The mega watch is water resistant. And it will still be able to send the GPS signal. But I didn't expect it to be floating in the water like that. It doesn't have that particular function. <gasps> Gravy, use your yokai watch. I can feel a signal of a yokai near that mega watch. Hmm, understood. <laughs> it's good old um, Kappa. Wall Kappa. Oh, Wall Kappa, I think, is the evolved form, isn't it? Ah, Nogappa. Nogappa? <gasps> Please wake up. Quickly. I'm asking you. Ah, dang. It's no good. The Nogappa is soundly asleep. <sighs> There's no helping it then. Quickly, let's catch that Nogappa. I'm pretty confident that he's going to continue his course floating downstream to the south. What a splendid adventure we're on. Hello. Heh, heh, heh. I want that thing. Give it to me. Pakurin. Don't know what that means. Yes! Stupid. Sorry! Maybe that's why I'm not getting my shinies. Keep running on the freaking road. Let's get sidetracked and get a fish. <laughs> or some chum. Oh, that's all there was. Mm, we got a fish. Oh, but we don't have a fishing rod, duh. Walk up. Isn't Paku like an onomatopoeia for chomp? Maybe. So I can't um, interact with him yet. I just have to. Whoops. I just have to keep following him downstream. 
Haku. Well, he had a big mouth. Exhale, exhale, breathe out, put on. Was that for him? No, that was for that spot. It's definitely mouth related. Throw up, vomit, spit out, cough up, feel nauseated, belching forth. Man, it has lots of meanings. Something to that effect. Great, the um, Mega Watch has come to a stop. <laughs> but Knock Upper is just pleasantly and I think ignorantly just sleeping soundly here. Um, I don't understand how I could do it. I don't understand his feelings. Quickly, let's get it. Pakurin. Oh, he's gulped it up. Ah! My Mega Watch, it's, it's floating. I didn't know it had that functionality. Ah, that there, there's no mistaking it. It must be the the doing of a yokai. Yes, Gravekun. Please use your yokai watch to search. You have found a yokai. Karipakun. <laughs> Karipakun. Hmm, look at its head. That's probably a big um clue to what it is. It's nature. Hmm, yes. It's as I thought. It's a very cool looking watch. Whisper, this yokai is... This is... Karipakun. He is a yokai that... Um, borrows items and makes, makes them for himself. Oh! Is it a pun for carry pack? Because the first part of his name means karidu, which is to borrow, or to borrow. Karidu, to borrow something from a person. What about pakkun? Is that some sort of onomatopoeia by itself? There's bug, bugun. Anyway. Oh no, it's, it's, oh there's so many puns in it. The last bit of his name is Kun, as in the suffix for like, you know, a youngster. Yeah, you spelled it right, Wonder, except for there's two Ks at the back bit. It's a long vowel, a long consonant. Fushoji. Disgraceful, deplorable, okay. Unken. Okay, so he's, he does deplorable things, I guess. Ah, you've already lent it to me. I'm not going to give it back, is something that he would say. <laughs> I'm just going to be borrowing this for a little bit now. <laughs> I 
Gravy, quick, we have to catch that Karipakun. Um, at this rate, there's no way he's going to give that Mega Watch back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're on a wild goose chase, aren't we? Huh? What's this? Is it my... <laughs> is it now my turn? Hey. I sleep upon the flowing river. It feels great. I recommend you do it sometime. Alright. Oi. Ah, no, don't catch up with me. Don't catch me. Same thing, okay. Whoops. So I wonder how far I have to chase this fool. Oh, I wish I had this before. It would have been good for that Bakatsukin. Which is a really good pun for Akatsukin, which is Red Riding Hood. Um, ah, ah, ah. You've caught me. You're very fast, aren't you? Yes, we have caught you. Hand back that mega watch. Oh no, don't say the cat's gonna get it now. Ah, what good timing this is. What? <gasps> what? This time it has to be a cat? <laughs> ah, it's gone. No way, no freaking way. Um, and it's climbed up there. Um, hmm, seems that this carry Pakun has lots of tricks up its sleeve. Gravy, what's happened? Uh, it's no good. This time, the cat, a cat has got your mega watch. Quickly, we have to go and catch it. Huh? Okay, so using the signal from the GPS, I can tell that it's gone towards the park. Fair enough. Let's break this up with a quick little fight. I'm hoping it's going to be a Bakatsuki. I got... No, it's not. I don't recognise this one. Or maybe I do know this one. No, I don't know this one. Oh my god, it's got a moustache. Karami's on. Alright. Karamizon. 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 It's a nyoron nyoron. It's a nyoron type. It likes sweets. Okay. Get wrecked, mate. Damn it. I've used all my chocobo to no effect. I bet as soon as I use my ten cent gum. Uh, 10 yen gum. I get something. Alright, where's this stupid cat? 
Um, so it's gone to the residential district, has it? Or towards where... Okay. Oops. I don't want to be here. It's gone to the um, other map. Come on, bucket again, bucket again. Oh, Wasurembo. Yes, my favourite yokai in the in the whole game. Wasurembo. <laughs> He's the one that if he inspirits you, you forget what you were doing. You become forgetful. His name is a delicious pun between forget and hat. Forget hat. I don't know if he likes cheap sweets as well. But we'll see if he just becomes our friend out of pure luck. Yes! 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 So the Wasserembo has become your friend. Or he, he approached, rather. Let's become friends! I want to become your friend. Why don't we become friends? Yes. Wasserembo! <laughs> Poka! Excellent. No nickname for you, you're perfect. So if we didn't discover this for ourselves earlier on, I'm sure we'd be introduced to the ability to scale the walls in this game at this point. Gravy! He's climbed up over there. He's too fast. I cannot run on the wall. But thankfully I can't accidentally fall off too, which is nice. Aha! Oh, damn it. Oh, and we come all this way and then it escaped again. Well, let's let's chase after it. I wonder if there's any yokai here. Oh, there's an item. Good. Oh, nice. We got the the salmon egg roe onigiri. Delicious. Oh, makes me miss Japan. Um, hey, kid. Around this area, there are praying mantises. I saw one just before. Okay, could always do with a praying mantis, I guess. Or a butterfly. Give me the rare. Give me the rare. Oh, so close. <gasps> yes! Lucky. Monshirocho rare. Nice. Damn. What else do we have here? An item. Oh good. Another iron idol. I wonder what they sell for. I'm gonna guess 50 yen. Ah, there's his. Oh no, that's a grasshopper. Dang it. D 
dang it. I hate you, game, so much. Oh well. A mini experience ball will make up for it, I guess. Ah, uh, how the hell do I get out? Ah. Uh. Ten experience. Good enough for a level up. Uh, it makes me want to use one of my staminums. Oh, he's gone in the alleyway. Has he? Yeah. Okay, finally we can go to the alleyways. Excellent. Oops. Oh, nice. We have... We have a little buck to kin here as well. Alright, let's fight. Oh, what's this? This is a new mini game. I should cancel it really, it's gonna be a waste of time. Oh, we run out of time. Alright, that's a pretty easy to understand mini game. Good. Good. Gotta love these alleyways, dudes. Get that. Oh, so many nice items. I have to go to the convenience store. Convenience store. Oh, wow. Let's sell these for a nice little bit of money, actually. Nothing here. Oh, you're okay. That's another one. Well, good news is I just picked up another bit of 10 cent gum. Yeah, the Jibanyan ish one that I have now is Buchinyan, and it's a fusion of Whisper and Jibanyan. <laughs> Oh, three of them, this is good. Sanborashu, slash. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Three experience points, they're only worth one EXP each. And I got soft... Soft tongue... No, no, no. Is that soft beef? Suji? What's Suji? Suji. Sinew. Tendon. Um... Mmm, delish. Oh, I didn't even get one. Dang. You can fuse Whisper. Yeah, it's a special... It's a special rare... Yorkai. And the story is... Jibanyan and Whisper fuse together when you use his Yorkai medal, but... I don't know the magic there because... I've still got Jibanyan here, he doesn't fuse. 
but that's kind of the mysterious background to it. Let's swap these guys in and have a laugh. Oops. I forget what this guy's um ultimate is. Oh, nice. Man, that gives you a lot of Yokai gauge when you pin the uh, inspirited enemies. So good. I mean, you. You have to hit it yourself to get it, I think, but. <gasps> nice! Buyojinbo. He's another attack type. Jimbo. I think I called him champion in Yoko Watch Run. <laughs> and wouldn't you know, he's number one on the list. Yeah, that's what I mean, Exelion, yeah. But the one that I have is supposed to be fusing together. They're not supposed to be there together, but the game made a nice concession for us. his eyes. Oh, so many items. Onigiri, Support Life, July Edition. I didn't think they were... had particular editions in the old game. Got some beef in you again. Ah, oh, still don't get my my buckets of kin. Right, we've found you. Nice gravy. Leave the rest to me. You jerk, robber, cat, you. You've got no ability to escape from here. Where have you hid where have you hidden my mega watch? Oh it's angry. Stop it. No it's its claws are he's showing its claws. <laughs> Big bros. Ugh oh, you're really persistent, aren't you? Karibak Karipakun. There's nowhere left to escape to now. <laughs> I can see that friggin' sewer there. So, hand it over quietly. Heh heh heh. Seeing as this is the case, in this case, um... Why don't we decide this through battle? <laughs> he launches launches himself at us with the tongue. Actually, I, I wonder if it's supposed to have a gender. If anything, it's probably a girl. Oh, and we've got some more information. So when your yokai is inspirited, you should do the purification, the exorcism. So when when this happens you can you can't really fight anymore. So the first thing you do, be cool, calm and collected and turn the member circle um, towards the bottom of the screen 
so that your inspirited your kite can be down there and then choose the exorcism command and should you do the mini game successfully you'll free them from the inspir inspirited and not only will you um, release them from their status ailment but you'll get some bonus experience points to boot okay nothing new from the old game I like his elemental attack. Aha, here we go. So we get six experience points from that. It's a pretty valuable way to get them. Hmm, wonder what level this one is. He can inspirit me all day if he wants. Getting all that sweet bonus e XP. Oh my god, an accessory as well. It's a it's a cheap looking bracelet. Right then, Karipakun, you have to give us the damn Mega Watch now. It's time. <laughs> Hand it over. Hey, don't, don't come over and snatch it from me as you would, as you would like, as you would please. I only just wanted to borrow it for a little bit. Then why did you run away? Um, Pakusuru. Oh, this is the big. This is the big hint, isn't it? Paku. Does that mean to steal? Here, let me use my online dictionary this time. Shit's getting real. Paku. Is it some sort of slang to? Thieve something. Paku. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not finding it. Pakuru. Oh, it's from Pakuru to steal, to rip off, to nick. Aha. Uh -huh. It's from Pakuru. Finally, finally understand. So you had a mind to steal it, didn't you? Not return it. That's no good. You have to hand it back. You have to give it back. Um, you must feel sorry for those that um, have had something borrowed from them and never returned. Okay, so that's that's what this yokai does to people. It makes them <laughs> it makes them not want to return items that they've borrowed before. Well, it seems as though we have cleared another mission. Whisper, please, why don't you lend me that Mega Watch? I just want to play with it for a little bit. No, it's no good. Um, if you touch this Jibanyan, You'll scratch it up with your nails. It's fine. Just give it to me for a little bit. Hey, hey, calm down. Wait a second, Jibanya. Um, please don't be that, um, I guess, violent about it. Wow. <gasps> oh no, you're kidding. <laughs> Jibanya. Ugh. 
I love the design of this game, it is so good. The way that they're introducing you to different areas and mechanics of the game and stuff like that is just brilliant. Something that I didn't realise until after streaming yesterday was... You know how we had to do that quest for the convenience store? Um, we had exactly 100 yen left over when we had to use the 900 yen of the 1000 yen that our parents gave to us to buy those um, steam buns. And that was all down to design because during that story mission we had to go to that um, memories shop and purchase the yokai watch for 100 yen but at the same time we had access to the convenience store uh, but the cheapest item that is usually 100 yen was jacked up to 110 because that store wasn't doing well so we had no other way to use our money I believe um, so we had to use it to buy the watch and then after that we get that quest for the convenience store and he puts his prices back down to 100. All these little designs, it's just, it's clever, I like it. Hey, what's going on? What have you done? Hey, don't come any closer. I, I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything! <laughs> uh, sorry to bother you, Gravy, but, um... I'm going to leave this to you for now. Alright. Off to the sewers, I guess. Okay, quick, let's go and get our hands on this watch. Um, let's climb down this manhole. Alright, now it's t telling us about accessories. Because there's a good chance that fight that we just had was the first time that you would have come across accessories. Okay. Do 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 ba 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 Does things like giving you increased defense. Special abilities... You can only equip one at a time. <gasps> However, there are some yokai that have the ability to equip two. Ooh, that's new. And please think about the tribal group of your yokai as well as its personality when strategizing which um, accessories to put put on them. I'm glad that came up because I forgot I just got one. What is this one gonna do? 10 to attack, negative 5 to defense. Okay. Hmm... Sounds like it could be... One for you. Let me see what his personality does again. Yep, it's definitely for him. There you go, have the cheap bracelet, dude. There's some kids down here too. So going down the manhole opens up into an area like this. It looks like it leads into various locations under Sakura Newtown. Hey Gerald Bud. Ugh, I'm getting sweaty. Hey, hey, gravy could. But it's really cool down here, though. Right then. 
Um, well then, this type of underground stream here, is it scaring you into a cold sweat, is it? He <laughs> he. Oh, he really is sweating. What's what's going on? <laughs> Something went over my head there. But anyway, let's get this mega watch. If we um if we tumble on ahead, who knows where we will tumble onto? <laughs> what? Let's search this vicinity. We got some kids here. It's no good, says the girl. Something about Komamiso. Something about their skipping rope? What's happened with their skipping rope? Goma Miso. Game of top spinning. Oh. Nawabari. That's skipping rope, isn't it? Oh. Oh no. It's um a roped off area. So their little spinning top has flown through this little cordoned off area. Oh, <laughs> Grady promptly ignores it and doesn't offer to help. That's not like him. All right, Wonder Bread, have a good sleep, mate. Catch you later. Oh no, I've been caught. I have to report this to the headquarters of the spinning top group. Hmm. <laughs> Oh good, I can open that. It, I realise I have to go down, but let's have an adventure. Oh good. It's the foul tasting medicinal powder. What? A fragment of a purple coin? <gasps> I didn't know that's something new. You can get fragments. Oh wow, we got a bitter one. Those items will revive your yokai. For those that were wondering, what's this? Nothing. So go. Never mind that it's swimming in feces. Um, my sweat has not stopped pouring from me ever since coming down here. Uh, it's strange, isn't it? Hmm, yes, it really is weird. You're sweating even though it's cool down here. And me too. I can't stop sweating. Hmm, perhaps this is the work of a yokai? Hmm, probably the case, yes. Let's um, have a bit of a look around. Okay. Oh. What's this disgusting thing? <laughs> look at it. You have found a yokai. <laughs> He's called Sweat Oni. Sweat Ogre. Ah, uh, sorry about this. It's my fault that you are so sweaty. Whoa, you are so sweaty. 
Hey, Whisper. What, what yokai is this? Um, this yokai. Well, it's... Huh? Huh? <laughs> My hands are too sweaty to use the yokai pad. Ah, ah, here we go, here we go, there it is. This yokai is Asekaki, which is a pun for sweat. It's a pun for sweating and oni. Asekaki, if you are inspirited by it, you cannot stop sweating. And it'll say, okay, so incidences where he strikes, you'll be thinking, even though it is so cold, why is it so sweaty? That's the type of guy he is. Hey, do you guys have any use of me? Do you, have you, is there, what are you here for? Well, actually we're here to search for a wristwatch called a mega watch. Do you know anything about it? Oh, are you speaking about this? Oh, that's the mega watch. Oh, you've picked it up for us. Thank you very much. No, it's mine. Ha hey, Asekaki, that mega watch is my friend's. Please, hand it back over. Just watch the archive so the yokai don't actually fuse permanently. They, they do, ordinarily. But this particular Buchinyan that I got Axelion is a rare and special case. I'm, it's, it's irreversible otherwise to my knowledge. Um, for any other fusions. Whether it be a Yorkai fused with a fusible item or two Yorkai fused together. No, this is mine. I found it. It's mine. Get get away from me. Go away. I don't think so, fat man. Yokai thing. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Okay, so these are those um, shining orbs that you can pop with the, um, the pin. In Japanese, they called it Sasu Rai ball sasurai means wandering roaming so roaming orb <laughs> floating orb so in the middle of battle sometimes this shiny orb um, will come it's called the sasurai dama if you use the pin to pin it, something good will happen. Um, all of them will give something good. And there's a bonus as well. So there's battle support effects such as charging your Yorkai gauge or your Yorkai energy gauge or Oh, or making the enemies um, more likely to befriend you. Apart from that, you can get experience bonus, money bonus, and items as a bonus. So after you've completed the, the battle, the items, money, and experience will be in a bonus value. So I think it's saying they will not um, they will not stay on the screen for long. So as soon as they appear, make sure to pop them as soon as possible. I don't think 
I think story-wise the yokai don't actually fuse permanently since in Yokai Watch 1 Jibanyan is still an NPC after fusion but the metals somehow fuse. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, I don't know. They've made some sort of concessions here and there. It's a, f it's just a fun bit of game. Okay. Let's put this line up in. Oh, Shamurai is not very healthy. Oh, there's my orb. I can't cancel it, damn it. <laughs> oh well. I had a feeling I shouldn't have done a second Sultimate. We got a chicken curry, that's good. We might have got a condiment with it if we pop the bubble. Who knows? We will never. We will never know. Right then, Asekaki. Hands back over the Mega Watch. <sighs> it's a nice watch. And I found it. I thought I would. I thought I found a great watch. Okay, okay. Um. What's he saying? It was... It's so hot. It's so unbearably hot. Kirawara dare? What the hell does that mean? Kirawara dare... To hate, to dislike. No, he doesn't want us to hate on him. <laughs> And at this rate, I'm not going to be making any friends, am I? Ah, I've been lonely for so long, living such a lonely existence. <laughs> oh, wow. He's really depressed. He's... Hey, hey. Cheer up there. Asekaki. Asekaki. Um... It's it's not that we're trying to be mean here. It's it's just that this mega watch is not ours to give you. We can't give it to you. But in instead of that, why don't you become our friends? How don't you think that's a good idea? Huh? Really? <gasps> friends? Friends? so disgusting. Would you like to give him a nickname? Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'll give him a name. This is why level 5 needs to hire me for localization team. B Ogre <laughs> Okay, so you've gotten B Ogre's information. I don't like how they've positioned him here with himself in the background. It looks like something's poking out of that towel there. Disgusting. Eh, eh, eh. Here, here's the watch. Okay, Mega Watch. Bye bye. Shall I put him in my team? 
Gravy, you've done it! Quickly, let's return this watch to Kanchi. Huh? What's wrong? This mega watch... It's, um... Beto Beto, does that mean... Wet? Sticky, huh? It's got this stickiness all over it. It's the sweat of that Asekaki. Asekaki. Hey, Kanji, look at this. I've gotten back your Mega Watch. You've handed over the Mega Watch. Gravy, thank you. Um, that really turned into a tough game of hide and seek, didn't it? I remember there was that old grandma yokai you get, and then you get an item and it evolves into some anime wife S rank yokai. Uh, I think that's bak Bakuroba or something. She turns into a, no, she turns into a yokai with a, um, with a boombox on her back. <laughs> I think she gets more eyeshadow and like a bandana to cover her mouth and stuff. Unless there's another way to evolve her. Unless I'm thinking of some other old grandma yokai. However, there's so many things going on that I don't understand. Things that you didn't understand? Hmm? I mean, I know about the crows and how they like shiny things and they collect them and stuff. But then after that, it fell into the water and it didn't, um, it didn't sink. Maybe it has some sort of, uh, function that protects the data by making it float. So I can understand that much, but then why would a cat go after it? And then why would it be floating in the air? It's just such a mystery why these things happened. Tattletail, yeah, that's who it is. Hmm. Maybe this is a yet to be, um, a yet to be announced new functionality of the mega watch uh no 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 uh, maybe it's um the work of a yokai what yokai there's no reason to believe that those things exist all right so kanchi has also lost his memory from the previous game because he does learn that yokai are a thing. Ah, those yokai, they're nothing but creatures of the imagination and of um, urban myth. Ah, maybe it's too fast for me to be talking about yokai to Kanchi. Yes, it's Im it's impossible, isn't it? Only the ones that have yokai watch on can see the yokai. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my god. That may be the case, but um My, my white shining body has so much appeal, um, but it's natural that he doesn't see it. What? The crows can see it. <laughs> I 
Oui Whispa Ah, oh, that's right. Crow's collection.